I still can't get over how good this purple looks on the car. Dude, this looks insane. What's going on guys? Welcome to today's vlog. If you haven't watched the recent vlog, then you guys wouldn't have known that we painted the freaking FRS purple. And this purple is super similar to the Porsche GT3 RS Violet Purple. This just has a little bit more metallic flakes in it, which is even better in my opinion. But the official color of this car is Plum Crazy Purple from Dodge. It's on the newer Hellcat, so if you guys recognize the purple, that's what it's from. But I've decided how I wanted to build this car. I think we're about to do a little poor man's GT3 RS build on the FRS and basically build it so that it matches the GT3 RS because that's always been my dream car, but my bank account, nowhere near big enough to afford that. So we're gonna build the next big thing right here. So this car's already boosted, it's already bagged, it's already purple. So we're gonna do stuff like the GT3 RS decals, but change it to GT86 decals. We're gonna add the little subtle accents like the GT3 RS, such as the yellow brakes, black and yellow interior, just stuff like that to make it look similar, but not 100% exact. We can start off today by assembling the whole entire car. Hopefully by the end of this video, this car will be fully drivable with all the parts on it. But before we can get to installing all these parts on the car, we need to do a few things. So when I painted the car, I was running low on base coat. So I stopped spraying base coat on the edges that wasn't gonna be seen because I think I have an idea what to do with that. Like right here, this goes right behind the bumper and it faces the wheel. So it doesn't really get seen, but since my tires poke out so much, It'd be flinging rocks everywhere and it chips up those areas anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint those areas in undercoating paint that I just bought from Walmart. It's this right here, it's Rust-Oleum. It's rubberized black coating. So not only will this make the kit more durable, but it'll give it a better aesthetic look since those areas aren't as purple as the rest of the car. And on top of that, I have to respray this area right here. So when we masked off the car, I noticed that the tape right here came up a little bit when I painted the car. So this area is still red. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape off this edge right here and paint this whole area black to match the little rubber gasket. And we're gonna use trim black paint so that it matches the black right there. If I use gloss black, then it'll pop out too much and we don't want that. We want it to look like it was meant to be. Those are the two things we gotta do first. Let's mask up the car sand those pillars down, paint them, and apply the coating on certain parts of the kit. Not gonna lie, this kinda hurts to sand fresh paint. and then we're gonna hit it with our paint. This is just our regular trim black paint from SEM. All right, after three coats of trim black paint, dude, this thing covered super well. No purple, no red, so I think we're good to go. Let's unmask this thing and see how well it turned out. Okay, okay. It's looking good, it's looking good. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my God, I think we killed it, guys. We fucking killed it. Look at that. Look at that line, though. Dude, it looks like that line has always been there. It doesn't even look like we painted over it. All right, now that we got the pillar situation figured out, let's work on the kit. This kind of reminds me of back then when Randy from Eliminate did his little roller paint job. When they busted out these brushes, I started dying. Next up, we have the rear bumper and this is the worst. It's still freaking red. I totally forgot to paint this section, but look. But I'm glad I didn't paint it because now you guys can see, look at how much rock chips it actually gets. Backsides of those extension pieces are all dried up. The bumper I left outside so it can dry in the sun. So now let's get right into assembling this car because we have so many freaking pieces to put on. This isn't even including the interior pieces. We got all of the interior to put back because this thing has 
no door cards right there or rear inserts over there. But this is probably gonna be the best part about assembling this whole thing because we get to see it all done. And in case you guys haven't noticed by now, my wide body panels are all hidden hardware. That means that there's no hardware on the outside. Instead, I integrate it back here. And so there's studs sticking out through the back. And how we actually bolt this down is through the interior. So if you come in through my interior, take out that back panel right there, you'll see that the studs are sticking right out. You see those right there? The studs are right there and all you do is tighten it up with the nut and then it's super secure. So essentially it looks like a molded wide body, but you're able to take it on and off. So super convenient. I think this is the best way to install a wide body kit. And if you guys want to know how, I dropped a video on it. It's right here. Go ahead and watch it. I went fully in depth on how to do it and everything. So check it out. All right, both quarter panel pieces and side skirts are on. Now it's time to slap on the missing thing from the rear end, which is the rear bumper. carbon diffuser, carbon spats. We gotta be extra careful though because whenever I put on the bumpers, I always end up scratching this area right here. And this is fresh paint. I gotta have Cheryl help me out so I don't end up scratching that. Oh my God. It sounds bad, but it's not bad. We got even more carbon for the rear. Dude, she's starting to look like a car again. We got basically half of the car assembled. We just need to install the front half and then the other carbon pieces. But we're gonna take a little break because I don't know if you guys are like me. I am addicted to scrolling on Marketplace and look at this crazy deal I just found. A 27 gallon air compressor for 30 bucks works perfect at everything. Let's go find out. <laughs> $30 for a 27 gallon air compressor and I still need one in the house right now So this is perfect timing if this thing actually works then this is a score because This compressor would have been like four or five hundred bucks brand new But it's kind of a mission because I don't have an SUV as a daily I literally just have my FRS and my R34 So then we got to drive back to my parents house borrow my mom's car and then we can pick it up And you said you just downsized I'm this car? I have no need I haven't used it in years. So oh, okay, gotcha. Sweet. Awesome, that's all I needed to hear. Yep. We got a new compressor. Wasn't planning on getting a compressor anytime soon because I don't use any pneumatic tools here. But 30 bucks, come on, man. This works perfectly. The guy only needed it gone because it was just taking up space in his garage. This man was balling, bro. The neighborhood was like rich as hell. Every house was over a million dollars. So I guess we came up on a little compressor. All right, let's go back to working on this car. I really need to finish putting it together right now because dude, this thing is starting to look too good. I'm getting way too excited. We're nearing the end. All we have to do now is basically put on all the arrow pieces like the carbon and stuff and then the front bumper and then the whole exterior will be done. And I went back to my parents and I picked up the swing since we had the car. The swing was just sitting over there. So now we can install this as well. Oh yeah, this is it Chief, this is it. Gotta slap on some tape so we don't scratch up our fresh new paint. We damn near got everything on the car. I even threw on the mirror caps, the door handles. Hey, if you guys are OGs, you guys know that I drove the car without door handles for like a freaking year last time I painted the car. But this time, we're not doing that again. All right, literally last piece to the puzzle is this carbon fiber wing. So let's go ahead and slap on our Voltex wing. I learned from my mistakes. The last time I saw this wing, I didn't put any sealant on. And dude, water leaked in my trunk like crazy. I had a swimming pool back here. So this time, we're gonna do it properly and put some sealant. Oh my God. Tell me 
This doesn't look fucking crazy right now. Dude, this purple? 10 times better than the red. I don't think I was this stoked about the car when I painted the red, but now, dude? Oh my god, this looks so freaking good. All the vents, all the body lines, the purple with the white. Oh my god, this shit is so fire. Look who just pulled up. What's good, bro? What's up, bro? This thing's looking hella clean. In case you guys haven't seen, this is my homie's Oscars FRS. Rocket Bunny V3.5, duper dope red right here. This was my twin until we went purple. All right, bro, you ready to see the car? Yeah. It actually looks pretty crazy. I'm hyped. Wow. Dang, I see the carbon. The carbon's peeping through, huh? Yo, that's crazy. Dude, we fucking did bro. that shit. We fucking did this. This looks even better than I thought it was gonna be like. I know, dude. The purple pops, huh? It popped like crazy. And the crazy thing, it's not even in the sun right now. So let's pull it Damn. out. Damn. Have you pulled it out yet? Not yet, not yet. It's gonna be my first time. Damn. Okay, let me back up the R34 so we can pull yeah. this thing out. Also, if you guys are new to this channel, this is my little R34 GTT right here. Imported straight from Japan and now it's stateside. Crazy. Fire or what? That's gas. Dude, this thing looks so fucking sick. Oh Holy my shit. God. Dude, we're fucking purple now. We got the Barney Mobile. Let's get to washing this thing. I need all of this pollen off of my fresh paint. Dude, the car looks so dirty and it's been sitting outside for literally one night and that's it. I just got a $60 foam cannon, so I'm about to try it to let you guys know if it's worth it or not. What you think, Oscar? Is this gonna be all hype and marketing? We'll see. It looks just like a normal ass foam cannon. So, we're about to see. It's probably just rebranded AliExpress shit, to be honest. And the soap that I always use is this. This double black auto shampoo, super fire. Ooh. It's yeah, pretty nice. Like, it's pretty one. nice. What the hell? Look at the foam on it. Lineup's kind of going crazy. We got one FRS, two FRS, and a freaking R34 sitting right here. Don't forget about the Yoda. Oh yeah, and the Camry. Unfortunately, I don't think me and Oscar are gonna end up being able to cruise today because I bought the VLAN LED headlights for this car, but they sent me the wrong models without the bulb. So there's two models for these headlights. There's either the OG ones that don't come with headlights or the V2, which comes with LED bulbs. And I ordered V2s but they sent me V1s with no bulbs so I can't drive the car without any headlights because the sun's going down and we don't want to get stuck driving this thing in the dark. So we're not going to we're not going to risk it. 
hopefully I'll be able to drive it whenever the bulbs come in and film some rollers because this thing will look so sick on the road. Shout out to Oscar for noticing this, but in case you guys didn't know, my car is boosted and apparently I've been running with zero coolant in it. Look at that. <laughs> There's like no coolant in this thing and it hasn't overheated on me once, but Oscar figured that out. So we're about to pour some coolant in this thing. That could have actually been so bad. I could have overheated, wouldn't know what my issue was. Next thing you know, coolant, none at all. Let me know when it's at a good level. You're good right there. Right there? Yeah, right there. Oh, no, it's nothing. All right, I lied. <laughs> we said fuck it and we took the car out anyways and Oscar filmed some fire ass rollers, bro. Appreciate it. Got you, bro. Dude, this man was hanging out the window with his phone like tweaking. I was like, there's no way this is gonna end up looking good. And dude, it turned out so well. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Let me know what you guys think about the new look for the FRS, the new purple. And I've been trying to debate between doing a black roof or not because I got black door handles and black mirror caps for the car. So I'm thinking a black roof would look super nice on the car. What you guys think? And at the same time, it'll complement all the carbon too. So think about it. Carbon, carbon, black, black, carbon. I think that'll look so sick. What you think? Black roof? I think the black roof will look fire as fuck. All right, we might have to go black roof. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for the support. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.